glad to have you on here KFS Dreams TV on Quest Free Sports every Thursday we come away with what we consider to be regular updates that you need to know concerning Dreams Football Club you get it nowhere else than Dreams TV on Quest Free Sports now coming up on this particular edition I will be giving you updates on what's been happening at the club for the past one week particularly talking about the Dreams FC and Akazo scouting um, uh, tournament that will be going on we have some new signings at the club yes new signings new arrivals hoping to be part of the next generation of the dreams fc uh, squad and then also uh, dfc global john entry benjamin tete doing wonders beyond the shores of ghana stay with me we'll do a quick commercial break when we come back i promise you the excitement will continue Alright, so we get started. Last week, uh, it was one of uh, the first uh, of its kind for us, Dreams FC and Akazu Scouting uh, Tournament. Now, this one in particular was a period for us where we spent a full week outside the premises of Dreams FC, the office secretariat. We had uh, technical team members, management members going outside um, the capital, Greater Accra, of course, where we were based there, to various locations. It was in Kumasi, Takradi, Anaji Park, it was in Ababu number one, it was at Baku School Park, we were also in Tamale in the Northern region to see for themselves talent who could possibly form a part of the next generation of Dreams Football Club in terms of players. So we went out there to get new talent. I'm sure you can see on the screens pictures of uh, some of the locations that we visited and the sort of talents that we brought back. Loads of games, we had about three minimum of three games each day concurrently running at all these locations uh, from Takradi, Western Region, Techiman, uh, Manketim central region lots of locations and we brought back talents now the next phase for us is that phase two happening at the theater of dreams uh, from wednesday that was yesterday to through to saturday uh, we are looking at these talents that we've gathered to see what at all they have whether it was a fluke we saw out there or whether they can make it all right so we'll get started and we spoke to some of the young talents who came to our premises uh, we took them around the office to see for themselves the club that they may soon be joining uh, then what they expect to do once they are in the capital so let's see for ourselves all those moments from the arrival of our new expected talents <laughs> and at the same time, defensive in the field. The prime reason here is to showcase my talents and what I have in me to prove to them that I'm a good player. On this wall, on this wall, on this wall, or that wall, for those of you who watch, the pictures you see over here are many members of the club. Some of the pictures need to be replaced. We are young then. And the pictures you see over here on my right hand side are pictures of some of the players once upon a time were like you, they came to justify themselves, they played very well, they excelled and they got the opportunity to play in Europe and other parts of the world. Some of them, I'm sure you are familiar with them. Some, those are not familiar with. I'm sure when you get to them. This picture here gives you a brief story of the evolution of the Missing program. This was when we played in the pitch in 2000 for the first time. We, 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 we had two attempts in the Division 2 before we qualified to the Division 1 League. This was the Division 1 League. The team that qualified to the Division 1 League. And this is the team that actually played in the Division 1 League. And the first is when we played in the Division 1 League. We qualified for the first time to the Premier League. This is the first Premiership team. My name is Kokui Salome Hansen, host of Home Run and Final Whistle on Quesa Free Sports. Keep watching Dreams TV on Quesa. Still believe. So 
so those were scenes that we saw from the arrival yesterday of course they told us how they feel coming to the club and then what we expect of them we hope to see that during these uh, three days of trials but Today at the Theatre of Dreams, we started yesterday, we had them playing games uh, to ascertain for ourselves the sort of talents that we've gathered from these regions. We need to be sure that we have the quality that we need to make the next generation of Dreams Football Club, of course, you know that our standards are pretty much high. So let's see uh, some highlights from the games at the Theatre of Dreams, yes, uh, and they, you miss Deo so much, so we need to uh, have a feel of that, that's why we took the games all the way to Deo for us to of course, use the facilities. It's been a while, a long while that we had a uh, good football on here. So we went all the way to the Theatre of Dreams and then we had these uh, games where we played three matches a day uh, from yesterday to today and then trying to test the quality that we have. Every member of the technical team present here, uh, ma management members also present. Let's see the highlights. <laughs> Call me a sellout, they said I would never be more than Obuma. Ah. Then Kalu came, hallelujah, followed. I, 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 shillelay to drop. Now all the niggas who said I was sick in the head call my number for features. But please, leave a message at the tone. Try let you know if you reach us. Hey, I will sell for my down, man. Pay, pay, what's in the pain? No crazy about the pay. For come to you, you can't walk up. One year, what's your mother, Bruno? Yeah, you can't walk. 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 Yeah, yeah, Mundi Musalat, media mirinam, I'm in your vegetarian. Missing me, any patch, I let me show me flow, what you pita, L, me, your alien. In body, what we take, I may walk at your nile, get your potini bagua, amen. I feel like you're gonna, you niggas go, they rest in peace, amen. My energy, they number 10, and every day I did train. Your jealousy, they give me strength. Now we be my friends and my enemies say I'm the man. I'm a heavyweight, I'm a champ. You better behave when I land. I never debate about them. And tell them the show, go to fail with no L on the bill. Give me 70K and I'm in the ball. Hey, it's a girl Effia Ada, E F I A O D O. Keep watching Dreams TV on USA TV. Nowhere else. I mean, where else are you gonna get Dreams TV? Not from the sky. Quite duh. Alright, so amazing talents that have been gathered uh, by the scouting team across uh, the nation, of course. And of course, whoever makes uh, the cut will surely make you aware. So it's time for transfer news. Uh, this time around, Dreams FC, we've made new signings, new additions to our squad. Yes, we made two new signings, four years uh, deals each for them. Uh, Gordon Okujato and then Mike uh, Salifu David are the two players that joined Dreams FC uh, respectively. Let's see their first words and then also uh, from the process, the medicals and then the signing sessions right on your screens. My name is Salifu David. I'm very happy to have signed for Dreams FC. 
it has always been my dream to be part of this wonderful club. The fans will expect more from me, nothing but the best. In God we trust. The friend of God, you know, could to do selfie striker, still believe. We are dreams, football club. I don't know. All right, if you just joined us, you're still live on Dreams TV on Quest Free Sports, a regular source of updates uh, about Dreams Football Club and uh, all updates that matter for you to know. Uh, it's now time for DFC Global regular session where we give you updates of our players beyond the shores of Ghana who've left Dreams FC. We start off with John Entry. He increased his tally. Uh, he, he scored last week, but you that goal now. He increased his tally from two to three goals with one assist for Makasa in the Egyptian top flight. Amazing player, fantastic player. I still do not know the reason why he's not part of the Black Star squad. Um, I, I, maybe Kusia Pia still doesn't uh, doesn't owe me or owe Ghanaians an explanation for that. But he's a great chap by all standards. Take no nothing away from him. Uh, he's been de doing this uh, scoring business uh, for quite a while, number of seasons, four or five regularly in the Egyptian top flight and of course we know that standard of a league is no mean achievement for him to make these uh, statistics at all. Alright so let's see the goal from entry and then uh, we hope that he continues to be in this blistering form. Yeah. 
So up next on the log, DFC Global, Benjamin Tete, fantastic goal he scored, uh, his fourth of the season. 4-1, they won Sparta Prague against Eleberak uh, on Sunday. And of course, Tete, he did the super celebration while after scoring the goal. So let's see that from Big Zlatan, Benjamin Tete. Ale nedokázala zápas se dovést do vítězného konce. No a my se tak můžeme podívat na základní sestavy obou dvou týmů. Přednost dostane Pražská Sparta. Ta udělala oproti poslednímu zápasu na baníku jen jedinou změnu. Sestava i rozestavení hostujícího celku Slovanu Liberec, protože podle grafiky je to tři. Stejně bodu, jako měli v té samé fázi loňské sezóny, tedy 10. Jenže loni to slovo tak nějaký ten bod. Je o to, že Liberec vůbec nehraje o škvivě. Jeho asistenty, pánové, Michal Mišká, Petr Celetka. Viděli jste tak, tady máme ještě jednou rozehrávka na krátko. A parádní centr, který posílal do tohle území, kolé Stanču. By posílila obranou vozbu, ale je to, je to něco, co má Sparta pod včasným natrénováno. Umí to, není to žádné rozestavit. Kovala to rozestavení 4-4-2, pohrá víc ze strany. Tady je Tetech, který uniká liberecké obraně. Tetech se trefuje vedle branky. Je předu jenom Benjamin Tetech, kterého zkoušel najít dlouho přihrávku na konec hezké sklepnutí Kipšu v pokutovém území a hladký si připisuje na své konto další úspěšný zákrok. Kipšu tam objevil ulici v Liberecku, takže zůstal stát. Je Frídek. No a Tetech dává gól! Ve 27. minutě Sparta vede nad Libercem 2-0. Ještě jednou se na to můžete podívat. Výborný byl náběh Frýtka, o kterém tam věděl Niko Stanču. All right, so up next on the log is Patrick Arthur, now midfielder, defensive midfielder. He moved from Dreams FC just last weekend. On his debut, he was the best player. How good could it go for him? Yeah, Andrew Holm in Sweden. Good player, uh, all the best for Patrick. Now, Emmanuel Elikeke was also voted the best player for the club at Vikinko Olavski in the Iceland League. Yes, uh, best player for them. And he's been doing quite well, scoring a number of goals for the club. And that's impressive for Manuel Elikeke. All right, so Dream FC, our first team, resumed uh, training uh, after a 14-day break, of course. Uh, we had to let them go and then ease off a bit after we had the scouting tournament where our visitors came from Europe. So we allowed them to go for 14 days and now they are back this weekend uh, to continue uh, getting through the paces, keeping them in shape, uh, ready for action at any time at all. Behind the throne 
so it's been exciting having you on Dreams TV on Quest F3 Sports. Uh, we're still in the scouting business. We'll let you know the players that make it to the final, uh, the final selection, the creme de la creme of this Dreams FC Anakazo scouting. Uh, you can join the action regularly on our social media handles. Join uh, our YouTube, subscribe, and then get to watch all the previous episodes and highlights, goals, everything, interviews that you need to know. Log on to YouTube and then find Dreams Football Club. On, on Facebook, we are Dreams Football Club. Uh, Twitter uh, Dreams Football C Instagram and then on Snapchat Dreams FC GH you log on to www.dreamsfc.com.gh for all the updates and information you find on our, our web page my name is Dirk Kweko you stop winning uh, once you stop dreaming same time same uh, channel next week bye for now still believe <laughs>